Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a like review slash demo of the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Oh my god, I got two shades. So I didn't know which one I would be and I'm not any of them, so that was fun. But I've still got a bit of fake tan left on, so I thought, oh, I'll get my pale shade and I get like my tan shade and then I can mix them to make a medium shade. But the shade that I got that I thought would be light enough is the shade Buff and this is like my shade now like when my fake tan is fading. Um, which is disappointing because they are very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. But I did email them and they were like, oh you can like as soon as you get it because it was too late like they'd already shipped it. They said when it gets to you you can return it and next year. But I just didn't want to wait. I'm, I have no patience. No patience. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to keep it. And then if I like use these up and I like it that much, then I'll buy my light shade. I think I'll either be porcelain or bisque. That's what I'm gathering from like swatches and stuff I've seen. But yeah, I got the shade buff and golden tan. So I've seen like Holly Boone and Amy Macedo use golden tan when they got fresh fake tan on and I'm... I look like them when I've got like fresh fake tan on. So I thought, yeah, that'll be good for when I go on nights out, which I never do anyway, and I've gone nights out anymore, because I'm more an AF. And then, yeah, I thought I would give the light shade, but this is the medium shade, so. It looks light in the thing, but um, yeah, it's not, it's not. So yeah, just a heads up, really do your research on the shades, if you're just gonna buy offline, because there's no, there's no way that sells Hourglass in a shop where I live. I think um, the only place is Harvey Nicks in Bristol, which is over an hour away, which I'm not going to do. And I'd have to pay the toll bridge, so no. I don't know, I thought they would be a bit more chunky, like the, the size of that triangle is like minute. I'm just going to compare it to the Makeup Forever stick. Can you see like the circumference? It's, it's really small, it's really, really small. You get hardly any product in here, which is just, it's just great, it's just great. Um, but it's such a beautiful foundation, like, look at my skin, look at my skin, it's so good. So yeah, just as a reference, I have normal to dry skin. Sometimes I get like really flaky around my nose and into my eyebrow, but it's not, at the minute, it's not sticking to any of those um, like dry patches at all go um and show you swatches so this shade is golden tan so that's the golden tan shade it looks a lot lighter in the thing than when i put it on my hand so that's what it looks like um i'll get up on line now what it describes it as okay so golden tan is described as a medium beige warm undertone so yeah it's for more like medium skin tones. I'm just going to show you it blended out on my hand. So that is it there. As you can see it has the warm undertone. Perfect for like fake tan people. You know. For love of a good fake tan. Buff is described as light with a warm undertone. So I should have got bisque which is fair warm undertone. Or I should have got porcelain fair neutral undertone. Because I like to go for either a, like a yellow to neutral. I don't like pink or cool or whatever. So yeah, should have got porcelain or bisque. If you are like NC20, I would recommend that. NC15 to NC20, I would recommend porcelain or bisque. Um, I know Nikki Tutorials, if you're like on the same wavelength as her skin like I am. She used porcelain the other day and it looked really good on her, so yeah. This is buff. It looks a lot lighter in the tubes, so the tubes, like, that looks misleading to me because that looks light, do you know what I mean? And I don't look too dark now, but I, I am actually quite, like, tanned looking in real life. So that's buff next to it. And as you can see, my hand at the minute, all the fake tan has kind of come off because like wash my hands and stuff. So as you can see next to my face skin, it's, it doesn't match. So yeah, keep that in mind. It's quite peachy as well. 
so as you can see. Um, I don't find it to oxidise loads to be honest with you, it's quite, it does stay true to what it is. But that's it blended out next to it. But I don't know, I guess I could get away with it when I'm fair. I just have to blend it on my neck a bit more, but that's buff blended out. Yeah, I can see myself going through these so quickly because you literally get half the products that you do in this. And I find that with this, it lasts about the same amount of time that a liquid foundation lasts me. Um, so about, like if I use this every day, it'd probably last me a month. Honest to God, if I use this every day, I'd say it'd last two weeks. Honest to God. Like I'm not even joking, which I'm not going to do. I'm not going to... £42, £42, £42. It's not good, it's not good. Let's look at the claims anyway. Let's see what it says on their website. Okay, so it says features and men, that's right. A foundation and concealer in one, this concentrated formula contains double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant coverage in one application. So I definitely agree that it is full coverage. But I mean, if you have like intense rosacea, you would need to go in with another layer. Like I don't think it's like that high coverage. I, like in my opinion, my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation is more like that's like, that's like out there, out of this world coverage. So is the Urban Decay All Night Dye. I feel like that is a bit more than this. But it's different formulas as well. Like the way it blends out is just so smooth and easy to work with that I definitely prefer this formula over like those foundations. Long wearing waterproof formula provides 12 hour coverage. Okay. Waterproof really? I don't know. I think because like it is, it's not like proper dewy but it's like a satin finish. Like I don't know if you can tell because I've like powdered, I've got a powder, I can't go without powdering. But I don't know, it kind of has dried down nicely. Like, it doesn't feel like tacky or anything, do you know what I mean? But I have powdered, so that's that. Innovative formula adjusts to your body temperature to, effort <laughs> to effortlessly blend into your skin. How bizarre! So maybe, when I'm really, really pale, I'm gonna try that buff shade on my skin and see if it, like, goes crazy on my skin. Or if it, like, oxidises reversed like oxidizes the other way around and actually goes lighter because of my skin colour. So I'll try that another time, <laughs> let you know how that goes. Designed specifically to be used with the Vanish Seamless Foundation brush. I didn't have the brush, I'm sorry, but I, I'm guessing a flat top kabuki is kind of the route that you want to go. Like I preferred the application with the brush like my kabuki brush rather than the sponge. I felt like it was a bit harder to blend with the sponge, so. A brush seems like it's the way to go. And then it says available in 26 shades for perfectly matched every skin tone, to perfectly matched every skin tone. And it's vegan. <laughs> 0.25 ounces. <laughs> oh God, it's just ridiculous. Um, okay, so then it says below, it says based on a one week consumer study of 31 women, Vanish demonstrated dramatic visible improvements. 100% reported product was fast and easy to use and apply, which is completely true. Literally when you glide onto your skin, it feels like butter. Like I'm, like there's no other way to describe it. 97% um, saw an instant improvement in skin appearance. I did as well. I feel like it blurred my pores, just made my skin look good. Um, 97% reported product effectively covered redness and skin imperfections. It definitely did, but I did go over um, two spots over here. This is where my redness is like crazy. Um, and it covered it, so. Oh, it does say how to use. Whoa, there's like a massive guide on how to use it. <gasps> I should have read this beforehand. Um, it says full coverage for the super this prep skin with veil mineral primer. I don't have that and I've never wanted it either. Um, because I feel like it's only good for oily skin. Um, dot three triangular dots in the centre of both sides of the face. So three dots on the chin, three dots on the top of the cheekbones and three dots on the forehead. So one, two, three. I think I did three or four. Three. I don't think I put any on my nose. So I think I used like the right amount. But yeah, at the minute I love it. I'm just really sad about the price. 
it makes myself sad. So I apologise in advance for the light change um, at the start because I had it on a different setting so it might look a bit more like orange. Um, but then I changed it back to auto so halfway through it, it goes a bit funny so I apologise, I apologise. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you want to see my thoughts, my demo, review, application, all that good stuff, then keep on watching. For reference, like this ha comes with such little product and I didn't even know, like I looked and I was like, oh my god, this is actually like so destroying. Um, this, <laughs> 0.25 ounces. My makeup for an Ultra HD stick, which is my favourite foundation of all time. This comes with 0.44 ounces. It's like a quarter of what you meant to get. Because in um, like a liquid foundation, it usually comes with one full fluid ounce. So this is like kind of like half of an ounce. And then this. These? This is 0.25, this is like a quarter. I know it's a stick foundation and it's meant to be like extreme, extreme high coverage. I have tried it once, I tried it last night and I was like in love. So first impression last night, I love it. But yeah, I just wanted to try it on camera and just check in with you just so you could see how it lasts throughout the day. But yeah, just to give you a heads up, this is 42 pound. <laughs> I got it off Space NK, um, the Makeup Forever, how HD is twenty nine pound fifty something like that. So yeah, this is a lot of money. It's a very little product. So if you're gonna get it, I would just make sure just to get like your actual shade, which is obviously hard just to like judge online. So as you can see, my neck is darker than my face because I wash my face a lot, and I still got like some fake tan left on. Can you see? Yeah. It's so like buttery smooth, it literally feels like butter. Also, I've put um primer on one side as well, put on this side, just to let you know. Okay, and then with golden tan, I'm just gonna go like along the perimeters, perimeters, just to like warm it up a bit more. And just to give like more of a tan to my face. Okay, so I thought I was recording then, but I'm <laughs> I'm blending this half of my face with the brush, and I blended it out so nicely. Like it's just so nice. This is like a perfect shade for me. Those two mix like for when my fake tans fade in. See, I didn't put that much on. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's a lot to you, but like, that's not a lot to me. <laughs> I feel like I cover more surface area with my makeup forever. So that is how that looks. Sorry for my lighting as well. This softbox bulb is like dimmer. I don't know why. Sounds all that. Then I'm gonna blend this side up with my damp beauty sponge from Real Techniques. Um, I think I prefer it with the brush. I feel like I'm having to spread the product more with the sponge. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it looks more full coverage on this side, on this side. But it's very, it is very full coverage, so. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. And then I'm just going to blend that up with the brush, just so it makes sure it adds the coverage. I 
doesn't go funny when you build it up either, so that's good. Can you see this? Are you seeing this? It's just like pure airbrushed goodness. Oh my god. So this is my skin close up. I just changed the setting so I don't know if you can see a difference. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks bomb if. So I'm just going to finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. Oh, and I forgot to say it's half past one by the way. So, see you in a bit. Okay, I don't know where I left off there, but I had to rush out to go and take my dad out. Um, so, yeah. At the minute it is ten past three. So I've had this makeup on for, hang on, let me just show you. So yeah, it's 15.08 now. I've had this makeup on for like about an hour and a half. So this is what the skin is looking like. It looks so good. I don't know if you can see, but my like my face just looks. I feel like my face looks good. Okay. I'm just gonna say it. Obviously, I've powdered and everything. Um, I feel like with this foundation, you do need to powder. Let me just push you back there yeah I feel like you do need to powder with this because it is a dewy finish I don't think oily skin people would love this I feel like if you were just normal to maybe combo and you could just like really powder your t-zone maybe but if you're just like all over oil slick I really wouldn't recommend this close-ups you know what I'm saying it's not like going funny around my nose or anything so Loving life. Loving life. You know what I found hard to find? I found it hard to find anyone on YouTube that has used the shade buff. Like I've, I've like nobody had the shade buff. Or like they had it but they didn't use it on their skin, which annoyed me. So yeah. Hopefully this will help someone out there. Hi guys, so it is now um it's nearly six o'clock. You see? Yeah, so it's nearly six o'clock, so I've had this on for on for nearly like five hours. Um, nothing much has changed to be honest. I did just pick my dad up and he gave me like a big hug and his coat was like all up in my face and I was like, no, it's all gonna come off. But it actually hasn't, it's like, no, it hasn't moved. So yeah, I'll see it. No, it hasn't gone funny around my nose. Um, in between my eyebrows and nose always does sort of look a little bit dry, so just keep that in mind because I can't do anything about that because, yeah. I am a dry ass bitch, but... Yeah. If you're wondering what lip colour I got on, it is NYX um, Lip Lingerie in Satin Ribbon. That's the only one I like that I've got because it goes on quite, like, smooth and it lasts, like, all day without crumbling off so and it looks like MAC Spice um, lip liner which is the lip liner I've got with it so if you like Spice by MAC get this lip laundry um but anyway back to the makeup so yeah nothing's really fading usually my um foundation down here fades a lot but it hasn't done that at all so I'm gonna just zoom in so again this is my face um close up as you can see, it doesn't look like it's changed around my nose or anything. Looks so good. I love it so much. Loving this right now. It's not moving. It looks good. It's just nothing to complain about, really. Um, yeah, it's holding up to the 12 hour mark so far. It's like half a day. So this would last you like um for maybe like a full day of work or whatever or night out i can't see you wearing foundation longer than 12 hours really um depending on what you do though for work yeah i'm gonna go and eat now and then i'll see you in a bit bye hi guys so this is my last check-in it is now oh, what is the time it is quarter to ten 
But I've had this on for like a little over eight hours now and it's held up really, really nicely. It's like ever so slightly starting to break up on my nose but literally that's because my dog like just touched my nose and she got like a wet nose. So, I, well I think that's the reason why that happened but it's literally like a minute. But um, it settled a little bit into my fine lines around my mouth but not too bad and it's kind of started to fade a little bit down here but yeah I mean for the end of the day I think that looks pretty good and I've just been for a meal hugging people like beards up against my face my brother's beard people's beards and I'm like oh, don't take my foundation off so I feel like that contributed to the fade in as well but it's like really really minute it's not bad at all um, but yeah, I will zoom you in. Excuse my crusty lips. I haven't topped up my um, lipstick. But. So I don't know if you can see like the tiniest bit on my nose is starting to like come off a little. Look how dry in between my eyebrows are. In between my eyebrows are so dry. But as you can see around my nose, it looks fine. And yeah, it's, it's kind of... Not that much has changed, but as you can see, my smile lines is just settled into them slightly. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's done well. So far, so good. I absolutely love it. I think it's made my skin look smoother. Um, I feel like it's maybe on par, but like maybe just below my Makeup Forever. I just I'll never get over how much I love Makeup Forever HD stick. But um, obviously the more I use it, the more I'll update you on how much I like it. But yeah. I like it a lot. <laughs> it just sucks how much product you get and how much it is. But um, yeah, it gets a thumbs up from me because I have dry skin. And something I look for in a foundation is that it doesn't cling to my dry patches. And this one hasn't at all. So yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take off this makeup now because it's been on for a long time. Really put this through the ringer today. With all the people that I've touched, all the kisses I've had, it still looks pretty good. Um, but obviously I have powdered it and set and everything, so just keep that in mind. But um, I think if you didn't set it and stuff, it would come off a little bit easier because it, it is um, sort of like that satin um, dewy finish. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like reviews, let me know, because I can do more of them if you want me to. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! Mwah. Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right